So vaccines are something we recommend for pretty much every pet, every dog and every cat, and certainly for cats. Um, we have cats around this area that are both indoor and outdoor, and so we do tailor our vaccine protocols based on what your cat's exposure would be. Every cat is somewhat at risk for rabies. Um, the, the animals that carry rabies in our area would be bats, and although the incidence is extremely small, um, a lot of bats do carry rabies and the chances for your cat being exposed are small, but the reality of it is that it's not only um, lethal to your, your cat, but it's also um, extreme human health hazard. So we recommend that every cat be vaccinated for rabies. Um, FERCP is uh, upper respiratory viruses and very, very common for most cats to be exposed to this somewhere along the line, either from a shelter or, um, you know, just really being around any other cat at all that can be transmitted through a screen door. It's via aerosol. So we really like for all cats to be vaccinated for FERCP. Uh, feline leukemia and uh, is another uh, disease that's, you know, used to be much more prevalent, but because the vaccine was so effective, it's much less prevalent. Uh, we mostly reserved this vaccine for cats that are spending time outside. Uh, we do recommend generally that we get all kittens vaccinated for it because people sometimes are not certain if their cat's gonna be indoor or outdoor. And then after they're a year old, then we say, hey, let's reassess. If your cat's never going outside, then maybe we don't need that vaccine. So that's the general um, uh, vaccine usage. Once cats are one year and they've had their booster, we recommend that they be vaccinated every three years. Um, so that's the, um, the recommendations that we have for cats at this time.